Okie dokie, artichokey. You ready for math? I am, because I've got unifix cubes. How many unifix cubes do I have here, guys? One, two, three, four. Are you guessing it's 10? Just wait till we count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah, oh, there were 10. But guess what? I'm going to take this many away. How many did I take away? Did you see? How many is that? Three. They're gone. Disappeared. How many is left? Are you counting? I don't hear you counting. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. There's seven left. Now, let's jump over to the board, shall we? I want to make a number bond. How does that look? Pretty sweet. This is the hole, guys. These two are the parts, right? What was my hole? How many unifix cubes did I start with? I started with 10. That was my hole. How many did I take away? It took away three. And now how many are left? There are seven left. Now I want to make a number sentence out of this story that we just did. Let's start with my hole. I put the hole here. And then what did we do? I took away three. And how many was I left with? Seven. Let's read this number sentence together. 10 minus three equals seven. All right, let's do a different kind of number sentence. This one, I'll tell you about me and Mrs. Burnett. Mrs. Burnett had nine blueberries. Yum, I love blueberries. Now because Mrs. Burnett is kind, she is shared some of her blueberries with me. She shared four of her blueberries. Now, what are we going to do? Now, if you said erase the blueberries, I could erase four blueberries, but then I might forget what my hole was. And if I forget what my hole was, I can't write my number sentence. So, instead of erasing, I'm going to cross off one, two, three, four. Okay, let's go ahead and write the number sentence now. How many, what was my hole? I remember that the hole was nine. Then I'm going to write a minus sign. Nine minus, how many did she give away to me? She gave me four. Nine minus four. It's not a complete number sentence until I get the equal sign. And how many are left? Man, I really hope you're shouting the number five because there are five blueberries left that Mrs. Burnett gets to eat. Now, what if instead of four blueberries, Mrs. Burnett decides she likes me so much, she gives me seven of her blueberries? Woo-hoo! I'm lucky. I've already got four of them crossed off. I'm going to keep counting. Five, six, seven. Now, my number sentence is no longer correct. What do I need to erase? Should I erase the whole? No, the whole didn't change. The whole stayed the same, but I'm going to miss erase this part and I'm going to erase this part. How many blueberries did Mrs. Burnett give to me? Seven. Thanks, Mrs. Burnett. Seven blueberries. How many does she have left? 
I hope you said one because there's one. Oh, oops, sorry, that's wrong. There are two blueberries left for Mrs. Burnett. Let's read the number sentence. Nine minus seven equals two. All right, second time in a row, I'm gonna pick you up. Here we go. Whoa! Whoa! Don't fall down. All right, what do we got? We got bears again. How many bears are there? Hmm, I wonder. Uh, we're just gonna live with this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, now the bears are walking along on a hike and they come to a cave. And some of the bears say, hmm, I want to go in that cave. Four of them do. One, two, three, get in there, bear. Four. All right. Now, if we had 10 bears and four of them went into this cave, how many are left? Did you say six? One, two, three, four, five, six. What's my number sentence for something like that? Start with the whole. 10 minus 4 equals 6. All right. So today, our lesson was talking about different ways that we can make subtraction problems. The first we did was to break apart. The second way we did it was to draw and cross out. And the third way we did it is to hide them under something. So those are all good ways of doing subtraction. On your uh, problem set for lesson 34, the front of it has some cute babies. And you're going to have somebody help you read them, those story problems. And you're going to find out how many you have to cross out. And then you're going to make Either an, you're going to make a number bond or you're going to make number sentences. You're going to fill in the blanks for the number sentences. On the back, they have a ten, no, a nine stick, and they want you to draw a line to show where um, Carlos broke his stick to share with his friend. And then for the next two, you're going to have to draw pictures and cross out to get that done. After you've got that worksheet done, I want you to go to Lesson 31, Core Fluency Sprint C. C, we're doing C today. Now, what's tricky about C? Sometimes the problem is a plus problem, and sometimes it's a minus problem. If you do plus all the way through, you're going to get several of them wrong. If you do minus all the way, you're going to get some of them wrong. So you've got to very carefully look and see, is it a plus sign so you can add the two numbers together? Or is it a minus sign where you have to take some away from the whole? Okay, good practice for you to work on today. See if you can get a star on that. Okay, I'm going to check a star. <laughs> all right, that's the end of math today. We'll get these uploaded. I'll see you for news. Bye-bye, pizza pie.